With me here to comment on today's Democratic debate is Andrea Crowley of CNN, DeMont Evans of Slate.com, and Ron Lahar, a print journalist from the Washington Post. Ha <laughs> ha! Your medium is dying! Nelson! But it is! There's being right and there's being nice. <laughs> Thank you all for coming to our focus group. Today, we're going to show you commercials from the Republican candidates. We'd like your honest opinions. This punch is too sweet. Your blouse makes you look fat. Opinions about the ads. <gasps> I live in that place. Who should America elect in 2008? Former Governor Vincent Aleppo said in the New York Times, I will protect the nation from attack. He's got my vote. But in that same issue of the New York Times, they also printed an article about terrorist leader Nusaf al-Mustafi. Dear God, what have I done? And ye shall judge them by the company they keep. Oh my God, they're going steady. Did everyone see that? So, what do we think? Well, I thought every part of it was good, but overall, I hated it. I feel exactly the opposite, but the same. That was the best milkshake ad I've ever seen. Makes me want a milkshake. The top fifth is consuming 60% of our nation's resources, while the bottom two-fifths is consuming one-eighth. Hence my campaign slogan, end quintile disparity. Look. We all care about quintile disparity, but the Democrats can't win with another prissy brainiac. Thank you, Senator Winnergale. <laughs> That's Winer Girl. Honey, how many of these signs do I have to put up? Twenty-five more? What did I ever do to you to deserve this? You're never gonna let that go, are you? Oh my God, this family is undecided. Undecided! Hmm. I wonder who that could be. Vanishing middle class. Cut and run. Terrorist win. Terrorist win. Stop all this pandering. If you haven't sprung from or aren't married to my loins, get the hell out of this house. You too, Fred Thompson. But I was in Die Hard. <laughs> die Hard 2. Is everyone here as sick of those stupid politicians as I am? Oh, oh yeah. 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 What about the media? They're not covering the issues. They just want to declare a front runner and go back to their mansions. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Who wants to abolish democracy forever? Show of hands. Now, I could really go for some kind of military dictator, like uh, Wad Perone. When he disappeared, you, you stayed disappeared. Plus, his wife was Madonna. What are we going to do? We can't not vote. Nobody does that. Why don't we all pick the most ridiculous candidate and write him in? You mean Dennis Kucinich? Hey, I'm right here. Oh, sorry. No, no, this candidate has to be unbelievably ridiculous. Chief Wega. No, but you're close. Roll over, Ann Coulter, and tell James Carville the news. Springfield voters have overwhelmingly rejected the major candidates of both parties in favor of a write-in, eight-year-old Ralph Wegum. Shockingly, this new face is now favored by 53% of likely voters. A new front runner has been crowned. <laughs> what I did made the TV thing happen. Live from our nation's capital, this is Headbutt with Nash Caster. story president ralph wiggum two days ago this bedwetter made a splash in the springfield primary with the remaining 49 primaries scheduled for next tuesday can ralph 
go from Sesame Street to Pennsylvania Avenue, Andreatica Bell Johnson. Val Nash, Ralph Wiggum is a breath of fresh air for a country hungry for a change of air. And he's already a master of the soundbite, from his take on immigration reform... Stranger danger! ...to his disciplined stance on government spending. I only have this much monies. Well, uh, <clears throat> I'd hate to be the fingernail in this Cobb salad, but we don't even know if this young man is a Democrat or Republican. Now, before we invite Ralph to the prom, we should find out if he's wearing a tux or a tutu. <laughs> Mom, they're taking Ralph's candidacy seriously. This is a disaster. Speaking of disasters, have you seen this? Springfield Dodge bought too much inventory, and they've only got one weekend to get rid of all the 07s. Mm. Oh. Lisa, I'm sure this wig of my roll will blow over. You have to have faith in the wisdom of the average voter. I dig the wig. I dig the wig. Oh, dear God. Come on, Lise. Hop on the Wiggum wagon. Ralph said he'd let me be Secretary of Indian Burns. Here's my first official act. Ow! Oh. Oh. Ralph can't be president. He's the dumbest person in the slowest reading group. Lisa, being president is easy. You just point the army and shoot. And Ralph is only eight years old. It says in the Constitution you have to be 35. The Constitution? I'm pretty sure the Patriot Act killed it to ensure our freedoms. Ooh, the Patriot Act is so terrible. The government might find out what library books I take out. What's next? Finding out what operas I go to? So it's agreed. We cancel the rest of the primaries and offer the GOP nomination to this knee-high wantwit. My oil rig is already gushing for this Wiggum critter. Do you have bats in your belfry? They don't even let him use big boy scissors. Sure, he's a little green, but, uh, you know, so was George W. Bush, and look how great, uh, he, 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 um... But at least he won. The second time, assuming they don't find those ballot boxes in Ohio... Look, the Wiggum boys better than anyone else we've got. Hear, hear! Well, if you put it that way, they not agree. That's right. This meeting of the Democratic Party will come to order, babies. So if we nominate these Ralph Wiggums, we will be like an unstoppable choo-choo. <sighs> I already got my assless sparkle tux clean for the inauguration. I agree with my ex-husband. With Ralph on the ticket, I don't know how we will blow it, but we will, because that's what the Democratic Party is all about. Yeah. Right on. This is Kent Brockman reporting from the Wiggum compound, where both parties have gathered to court the most charismatic child since Drew Barrymore in Firestarter. When she got mad, they got burned. <laughs> Ralph, both parties want to offer you their nomination. Whom do you like? Go ahead, Ralphie. You're invited to two parties, one with a donkey and one with an elephant. Who do you like? Elmo? Ah, Admiral Elmo Zumwalt, Richard Nixon's chief of naval operations. So, Ralph's a Republican. Not so fast, Kent. Zumwalt ran for the Senate in 76 as a Democrat. Oh, no way, Lou. You're thinking of Admiral Hyman Rickover. The father of the nuclear navy? <laughs> as if. Uh, only one place to settle this, to the offices of the World Book Encyclopedia. Ralph! 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 <laughs> Ralph, darling, be a Democrat. They have Alec Baldwin. They have Stephen Baldwin. They might as well not even have a Baldwin. Leave him alone, you vultures! Who are you? Uh, Ralph and I used to date. <laughs> nice. Now maybe you can help him pick a party. Ralph, they have no right to do this to you. They just want to use you. Maybe I want to use them. Maybe you want... Use them to make this country great again. When we're mad, we'll just use our words. Then the rest of the world will play nice with us. And the only boom-booms will be in our pants. Maybe you wouldn't be such a bad president. And you can be my first ladle. I like the sound of that. Ralph! 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 The following is a paid political announcement by the Republican and Democratic parties. Compassionate. Tough. Curious. These are all words Ralph Wiggum doesn't know. But he doesn't need to know them. He lives them every day. I'm voting Ralph for president. His easy smile makes me think everything is okay. Even when I...